Is the band getting out of hand now? There's seven members. Yeah, it's too many. Well, actually, There's, eight now. It's eight people, yeah. actually. Far too yeah. many. We're going to cut it down, and the next one will have no members. <laughs> Do you feel like, in that case, then, that the band could ever go back to being a solo project? No. No? No. Too much. Can you imagine how shit that would be? To be fair, Joey, it's shit. I'm so yeah. bad. So, I'm so bad. In terms of cutting, who's getting cut and who's staying? So we'll start by cutting me. I think that's fair. <laughs> so, um, me? Uh, <laughs> no reason. Actually, yeah. No, uh, <laughs> It's never been done before, a band cutting cutting its own front man by its own front man. They're actually replacing me with Matt Skiba from Alkaline Trio. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What Facebook group best defines you as a band? Corner Shop Cans. UK Mum Cheese and Wine Talk. This is a new one. It's a small group, I think still under 300 members. Whoa, i got to get um, in there before okay. it gets uh, You've got to get on it. UK <laughs> Mum slash cheese, of cheese and Wine Talk. Yeah. Join group. And it's just people being like Prosecco mums, like cheeky oh, Prosecco mums. I love it. Wait, yummy mums. mummies. Yeah, 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 yeah. I feel like we have to plug the meme group. So there are probably three core groups. I, myself, and Zach from I Told You I You together run a meme Facebook group that Changes name possibly every week. Right now, <laughs> it's called When Galilei First Dropped Two Balls of a Similar Weight, which he had himself to tell me. Right? Still don't think it's as good as Tracy Eminem. So it I was called was Tracy Eminem for a while. For a while, it was called Just the Funny Meme Group, which is what we call it. Meme Here. School. That's, that's that's Emmanuel Can, 8.4 Best New Meme. So someone will put a meme in there and then you'll rate it like uh, like an Olympic diving score. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's um, I like that. as far from funny as we can get it while still Have laughing. You just approved me. I did. <laughs> <laughs> I did. Zach and our friend Felicia run a uh, music group called the Divine Music Grading Commune yep, System. I unfollowed that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we know we've made it. That's just people posting music they really like. And then there's the there's the dark group of that was called the atrocious, like, putrid, heretical music dump. Uh, so it's yeah. just bad music. The Panic at the Disco version of Bohemian Rhapsody. If you could give every member of I Told You'd Eat You a rap name. Oh my god, there are so many of us. What would it be? And would you be an East or West Coast band? Or go. United Kingdom. Found me straight out of yeah. Lincoln. <laughs> <laughs> Myself, uh, I would choose Front a rap band. name McFuck. Ollie's name would be... Um, that's it, done. Father Christmas, <laughs> Luke's name would be um, Mumford and Buns. Oh John's uh, rap name would be, did I already say McFuck? Uh, sh uh, Josh, we already had a rap name for you ages ago, what was it? Dizzy, Dizzy Tizzy. Tizzy. <laughs> <laughs> Lewis's rap name would be Epic and Naughty. <laughs> and naughty MC Palmute. <laughs> and Zach is of course McFuck. Also, okay, also yeah. McFuck. So three McFucks. So three, McFuck. yeah. three revolving McFucks. Yeah, yeah, they, they okay. battle it out every weekend for the title of McFuck. If I uh, told one of you that I was actually intending on eating you, what, what would you do? Don't. It depends. Please, <laughs> Please don't. Please don't. Please don't. Please I want to live. I know we act tough, but it's just a name. Now, where did the name come from then? Can you elaborate? It's a quote from There Will Be Blood. It's Daniel Day-Lewis <laughs> at the end of the film beating to death this guy with a bowling pin going, I told you I would eat you, Eli. Oh. Yeah. I told you I would eat you. <laughs> I've not seen the film, so I mean, that's why I was asking for reference. It's very long. Too long. Is that your review? It is the, <laughs> I mean, it is objectively the best film ever made, but you know, it's still Yeah, it's a it's very still. long. I spoke to someone um, about this the other day, actually asking about the name, and he said, that's my favourite movie, I've seen it two and a half times. Two and a half times? <laughs> yeah. And I was like, what was the half time? I was like, fell asleep. I mean, I feel the same way. Um, I enjoy a lot of Japanese cinema. I don't know if any of you... Very nice. Oh, heard of The um, Ring. Uh, no, not that one. Um, like, oh, it's funny. Uh, the American one is the original. The Japanese, oh, the Japanese one is the remake. So much yeah. worse. Yeah. Yeah. I feel the same. Akira is like three and a half hours long, and I've only seen that like two and a half times. Right, but it's still sick. Yeah, it's still a great film. But anyway, off topic. No, There's off a topic. topic. Here. There it is. There's a hot topic here. <laughs> bring it back to this. Well, I'm I feel like I should bring the topic more together. Guys, yeah. Oh shit! No. Official no, unveiling. Unboxing. Official unboxing. Yes. Oh, you got that young blue. I want the blue one so bad. Oh, it's, oh, a it's lovely so pretty. Because we have the blues. Eagle-eyed font spotters will see that this is an excellent use of Gil Sand MP. My favourite font. Yeah. Well, while you're sort of looking at this oh, and getting stoked, just... explain to me your favourite Spice Girl. Okay. It's got to be scary Spice, hasn't it? Sporty Spice. Sporty spice. I'm, ba I'm back on Sporty. Stop catching my things. Old Spice be my favourite. Old Spice? How was recording with Bob? Hey, Bob yeah. Cooper's like, oh, he's a dreamboat. You can elaborate on the uh, recording process. He was... 
able to listen to me chatting shit about like what I wanted the drums to sound like and yeah. all these weird like esoteric terms yeah. and stuff. I told him that I wanted the bass drum to sound like a slice of ham hitting a baseball mitt. And you know what? He tried his and best. You know what? He gave it a bloody I don't good think go. it's that far off. <laughs> all eight members there at the same time, or you sort of no, did shit? No, it was sort of stints. We did the majority of the instrumental stuff. We did drums, bass, guitars in Manchester at Airtight before. Then we recorded uh, synths ourselves. Um, in Zach's room, and then we went to um, Soup Studios in Limehouse, uh, which is where we did all the vocals, like so, all Joey's parts, all the guest vocals, um, and also Luke's parts. Yeah, Bob was an like, absolute champ as well for like, yeah, Mate, for recording guy. drums. He went till about half three in the morning. Yeah, yeah, well. yeah, 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 the legend. May rest in peace. Can we talk about this? So what you do is, and it's for the camera, you can see that's lighting up. Right? And now, um, for a low uh, investment of what, like a thousand pounds, you can get two thousand of these. Now the retail for this is what, two, three pounds? And how many oh, people you. work in your workplace? How many people? Imagine if you can sell one unit to every single person in your workplace. That's a profit of a few thousand at least. Now all we need is, uh, Connor, um, your card number and the security <laughs> Oh, well, thank you. And we'll just set you up straight um, with Mother's that name. maiden name. Another question, another question. I've got a questions of questions. I went on Reddit <laughs> music earlier and asked for, asked for questions for you guys, but they were all a Is this an so AMA? If I had and gave you Ten thousand pounds to invest in anything that wasn't music. What would you invest it in? Wood. You always need wood, Connor. So Luke has this app on his phone that's pretend stock trading. On real stocks. Do you want to make so money? he really invests in them. They go up and down. He makes or, or loses pretend money on them. And I took Luke's phone. I bought four hundred and twenty <laughs> shares in wood. I'm not saying this because it sounds good, but I can't pull out. <laughs> <laughs> I legitimately cannot pull out. I've lost about six or seven thousand pounds of fake money. Weeks. Of work. <laughs> you always need wood, don't you? Yeah. Well, I promise you, Luke, one day you're going to thank me for that. How did the uh, band essentially come from a solo project just being yourself yeah. up until this eight headed giant? beast of a band this that's giant now going out and touring. Shit machine. Yeah. So the thing is, when we were recording this EP, we kept saying, there aren't enough instruments on it, we need yeah. more people. <laughs> it's too easy to record when you've got eight people. It's too it's, easy. It's in and out, it really is. Uh, there are like five guest vocalists on the EP <laughs> yeah, as well. Yeah. Uh, we know at least two good cellists. Yeah. Any theremin players, cellists, uh, xylophone Euphonium players. Euphoniumists. Oh, about harpists. Underrated art. Harpists. I don't know if they're called harpists or... Harpers. Harpers? <laughs> Anyone with, I'll a I'll 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 know her. Anyone with a uh, sort of better than average music diploma. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Tweet the band. It, it started off because I played bass in another band called Olive Symmetry. Okay. My brother. And that was like my main thing. That started winding up a bit. And I started writing like you know, bits and pieces of just sort of pop beats yeah. on guitar. Uh, basically the band was just me and Ollie. And I'd like write most of the songs I played them to Ollie. He'd say like, that's bad, that's good. Basically we do shows as I told you I'd eat you with me and Ollie. But I was playing the music and Ollie was just... Encouraging me. <laughs> um, Not on stage. That, <laughs> yeah. that, that, that would that would be fun going. Oh, oh very well done. We also worked with Josh because like um, Josh was in our cemetery with jam together and stuff. Started yeah. as the three of you after the solo project. Yeah, yeah. essentially. So three it was piece. A, it was a three piece and we um, because I'm really bad at guitar, so yeah. I've never been in a band mm -hmm. where I haven't invited Josh to play in it. Because if it ever falls to me having to write anything mildly caudal, yeah, yeah. I know can, I'm bad. You can walk away from it. Yeah, and Josh is good. Josh who has left his seat and is now standing there. <laughs> Josh is just counting money over there. <laughs> Josh has clearly at least 50 pounds. And I vaguely knew Sean through our friend Mark. He, I think he probably met you like one time maybe. Yeah. Vaguely, vaguely. I think what actually happened is we went to Art Tangent and it was still basically me, Ollie and Josh. We camped with Sean and Sean just spent the whole weekend being like, I don't play drums in the band anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I like, I'm good at drums. I like I'd like drums. to lie and say that's much, not yeah. what happened. I'd very much like to happened. be in a band. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, so, so really love bands, me. Yeah. You got one. You're in a band, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> Do you need a drum or a percussionist? Yeah. And so we'd never heard Sean play drums. And I, we, wrote, we like wrote this sort of like single. We were like, we should probably have a drummer so we can record this. So I just messaged Sean and was like, do you like these demos? Can you do the drums that I programmed on them? And we had no idea if Sean was good. Or he could even play drums. Right, we just knew he was really nice. <laughs> yeah, in fact, the, the opposite exactly is true. Is he's very good at drums, but a really tasteless person to be around. Sean just sort of turned up and sat yeah. at my house the night before. And we arrived at the studio. My, my brother was producing it. It was all pretty chill. And then Sean was like, oh, I'm just going to run through the songs. And I was like, sat outside, like, listening, make sure he knew them. And Sean, I mean, you've seen us play, is actually yep. very good at drums. He's all right. Yeah. You're all right, mate. 
not very good in such situations. <laughs> oh no! So, so often the first thing people say to us after we come off stage is, "Wow, your drum is amazing." Yeah. So that's and what, then they're that's like, the "Joey, look member. how tall you are, how strong yeah. you are." Yeah, yeah, I knew cool. Lewis from when I was about 12 because we're both from Milton Keynes. So these guys met um, <laughs> Lewis. Uh, I think it was a, a moose. It yeah, was a moose bird show. It was the release show for yeah. I'll keep you in mind, comma, from time to time. They, he said he was from Milton Keynes, and apparently these guys were like, oh, do you know Sean Mercer? And he was yeah. like, oh, yeah, I know this guy, he's my best mate. And then I vouched for Lewis and said that he was a safe guy. And, now and then in he got involved in it. Particular instance I've heard on the rumour mill where uh, a member joined without the consensus of most of the band by yourself. Yes, that's true. I'm very good uh, friends with our, our keyboardist, Zach, and we hang out a lot. And I have met him. Once, he's friends with my housemates and he came round, he plays in a post-punk band called Happy Mill Limited who are really, really good. Just hanging out at my house, I thought, oh, this guy's really nice. And my housemate was like, you guys are really similar, you'll really get on. And then a few days later, I went and saw Happy Meal. And afterwards, me and Zach were really drunk. And I was like, Zach, do you, you like emo, right? And he was like, yeah, man, I fucking love snowing. You like the brave little abacus? I'm on it. And I was like, well, I love those things. Join our band and play keyboards in You go and join the band. I was just, join, just join, join the, the band. band. And Zach was like, yeah. Partly to convince the rest of the band that Zach was a safe guy, I uh, I just put, as as is uh, tradition in our band, as many hats as I could on his head and took a photo of him. And I said to Ollie, like, okay, there's this guy, he's really safe, he's really nice, plays in Happy Meal, he's gonna play on the next EP, and he's gonna play some shows with us as well, I think he should be in the band. It will really fit, and Ollie was like, well, I mean, I trust you, man, but what kind of guy is this guy? And I just sent in the hats photo, yeah. and Ollie was like, he's in. Before Zach. Yeah. Though was Luke. Yeah, if I may, uh, we were in a bookstore <laughs> in Notting Hill. <laughs> <laughs> we both reached for the Communist Manifesto. <laughs> <laughs> what system are you trying to destroy? Oh, and on no. three, we both said capitalism. <laughs> so Luke uh, went to college with me and Ollie, and we used to play in like a pop band together called Sam Darby, <laughs> uh, <laughs> named after a mate of ours called Sam Darby. Yeah, and makes sense. We came second in all the short battle of the bands, judged by our music tech teacher. Hey, <laughs> in which there were only three bands, one of whom was disqualified. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, um, that's the sort of quality of time.